time for the WIAA Division III Football State Championship where Wisconsin Lutheran is taking on Rice Lake. Wisco comes into the championship game undefeated with 13-0 record, while 10-3 Rice Lake has a strong running game which they hope to use for the win. It was a chilly morning at Camp Randall, just 16 degrees, which led to a few turnovers throughout, but the first points of the championship game would belong to Rice Lake as they settle for three with a 29-yard field goal from Luke Fleming. It would take Wisco just six plays to march into the end zone as Austin DeNoyer steals six from the two for the Vikings. In the second, the Warriors would answer with a TV of their own after a forced fumble when Eric Hovde finds Noah Pierce wide open. The first half would round out with Wisco gaining momentum. Logan McShane sends one to Jacob Fry and he's off to the races, taking the pigskin for 48 yards. Five plays later, McShane finds Anthony Carver and he stomps into the end zone, sending Wisco into the locker room 20 to 10 over Rice Lake. Wisco would keep their momentum rolling in the second half, scoring back-to-back -back TDs with the help of Quinton Reed on the blocked punt and Bryce Roberts with the recovery. The second TD comes with a handoff to DeNoyer, who's barely touched in his 13-yard score. That's 27 unanswered points with a two-point conversion to Carver. The Vikings lead 34-10 at the end of the third. But the Warriors continued to fight. It's Hubdy with the quarterback keep, and he's in for six, but that will be it for the Warriors. Wisco's leading rusher Terrence Ward would seal the deal as the D3 2014 champions with his second TD of the night, a two-yard jaunt. We had a rough one last year, and uh, and I know all the seniors uh, this year, you know, didn't want to repeat that, and we knew what it felt like. And uh, you know, it's it's great to end my football career on a, on a good note. It's awesome. Our defense was solid this today, and it was this good win. To, to win 14 games is an incredible accomplishment. We had a couple of battles, and we had some adversity we had to go through, but. In the end, these guys conquered every opponent that they faced, and uh, I'm real proud of them. This is a great atmosphere, and I wish we could do it every year. Waukesha West and Menasha took similar paths to get to the Division II state championship game. In fact, the two teams won their playoff games by similar scores each week, and each team won its state semifinal game by one point. The Wolverines brought an 11-2 record to Madison, and they look sharp early on. Garrett Bartelt takes a hit, stays on his feet and inbounds, and gets down to the one-yard line. That sets up a touchdown, 7-0 Wolverines. Tied at seven later in the first quarter, West's top rusher, J.R. Scott, gets free. In the open field, he makes a nice move. Scott picks up 46 yards for the Blue Jays' 40. Later in the drive, third and long, it's Connor Blount scrambling. He'll buy time and then find Tyler Remmers, who makes a great catch at the three. Next play, it's Peter McCudden scoring his second touchdown of the game, 14-7 West. But the undefeated Blue Jays have an elite athlete and senior quarterback Tyler Johnson. He races 39 yards to make it 14 apiece. Then in the closing seconds of the half, Johnson will air it out to Kelvin Madrano. 36-yard touchdown, Menasha leads 21-14 at the break. The Blue Jays drive again to open the third, deep into Wolverine territory, before Peter McCutton rips the ball free and then recovers the fumble. West would then drive for a field goal. The opening minutes of the fourth quarter spell doom for West. Monasha would return an interception for a touchdown. Then the Blue Jays recover this fumble, and that leads to another TD. It's Tyler Johnson again. 23 yards this time. He rushed for 151 and three scores. Monasha takes the Division II title Waukesha West brings home the runner-up trophy, along with a lot of pride in having their season end in Madison. This ride could have ended three or four weeks ago. We got to play a whole other half season and couldn't be any more proud of the guys. These guys have worked hard all year. We're a family now, and it's people can't take this away from us. We got here. Nobody dictated to us when we came off of our practice field over at Waukesha West. And we played as long as we possibly could. You guys played their hearts out today. It just didn't happen for us. We had to make more plays. 